In this video we are looking at C7 Blues, and C7 Blues is a really cool little riff, it works around basically a C7, but we're going to kind of move things around a little bit. It's also a good one to look at moving shapes around the neck, so we're going to move that C7 shape all the way up to fret 8, so it becomes an F7, and up to fret 10, so it becomes a G7, so it's quite a good, sorry, to look at kind of transpositional shapes and moving a shape around to form different chords. Um, so let's zoom in and take a look at the main shape. Okay, so we start with our C7 chord, first finger B1, second finger on the D2, third finger on the A3, and a little finger on the G3. So that's our normal C7 shape. Now it comes to the riff, we are going to pick the A string twice, strum the D and G and B strings twice. So that's the first kind of half of the bar, if you like. One and two and. We then lift our third finger up to the E string and play that twice. Then you're going to remove pretty much all the other fingers, set for little finger, and go one on the A, two on the A. So that's the second half of the bar. So E3, E3, A1, A2. E3, E3, A1, A2. So one and two and three and four and one and two. That's our riff, that's the one bar riff that then just loops around and around. We're then going to take that shape, again make sure we keep that little finger down, so we're going to slide all the way up to fret 8. Now it is exactly the same shape here for this little riff, but now we're doing lots of different strings, we're going 8, 8, strum, strum, then up to 8 on the E twice, then 6, 7 on the A. So you can see my fingers are doing the same pattern as they did at, way back in fret 3. And then the only other show we're going to do is a G when you slide up to fret 10. And you go 10, 10, strum, strum, 10 on the E. Then 8 on the A, 9 on the A. And that again goes around. So there are three shapes. Obviously C7 being the first one, then F7 and G7 being the next two. Now, let's try and put this together. So we start four bars of the first shape, of the C. So that would be the first bar. Second, third, fourth, and then you go up, F, and do that twice, back to the C, and twice around this. And we're jumping way up to the uh, G at fret 10, back to F at fret 8, and C, way back at fret 3 again twice around that. And there we go, there is C7 Blues. So there we go, there's a pattern and how we move that shape around to create different chords. The main thing to be aware of in this song is keep down the little finger. If you take little finger off, you'll find it be very tricky to get it back down again when you want to loop around back to the third fret on the A string. If you keep that little finger down all the way, you then also keep a part of the shape so it's easier to return to it. When you then move up the neck, you can see my little finger's down, I'm just sliding everything up. That little finger then basically gives you kind of like a marker where to get to that eighth fret. So that's the idea, keep that little finger down all the way. Not easy, little finger want to come off, you've really got to kind of train it to stay down, but spend a bit of time with it, you will get there. And there you go, there is C7 Blues.